Uh, you know, I, I, th I think a lot of it's, you know, just having the right mindset that, hey, we, we can go out there and do it every time. I, I know on that uh, that last drive, we the whole offense knew for sure that we, hey, after, after that first completion, we're going to go down here and we're going to put this ball in. I think we got to have that mentality every time. They've got some good defensive ends. Uh, challenge for you and Kyle this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're two good players. Uh, you know, we played against them last year, and, you know, we know what they can do. Uh, watching tape on them, you know what they can do. They, they cause a lot of disruption in the backfield. So it's going to be studying them and kind of getting a feel for what they can do out there and what moves they can bring to the table. And, you know, just going to be trying to get better in the week and kind of learn what they're doing. Can you so talk about Ricky in the last drive? Guys have, I'm sorry. Some, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, dude. Sorry, Mark. So many sorry. close games this year that you guys have been able to win, and obviously you have your long-term goals, but how thin is the margin of error for this team? Uh, I think any time you play a... In the Big Ten, the margin for error is small, whether it's a turnover or, you know, a missed block or anything. I mean, it's, it's small, and, you know, obviously we've won these close games, and, you know, obviously, we, you know, the kid could have gone any way, you know, last week, and if we would have made one more mistake, it could have gone their way. So, uh, it, I mean, it's small, but, you know, that that's why you practice, and that's why you actually go out there and play, you know, to get those uh, things corrected and work on them. Do you guys feel any sense of disrespect from, you know, your positioning in the polls and what people are saying about you on, on you know, in the national scene? Nah. I don't think so. I think we, you know pe people are gonna say what they want to say. Um, it's just it's just going out here every day and working, trying to get better, focusing on one game at a time, and not really looking at the big picture. I mean, people are gonna say whatever they want to say, and you know that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not gonna affect how we play at all. So Can you talk about Ricky in the last the last drive. Mm -hmm. What was he like in the huddle? What was he saying? What was his demeanor? Was he? Uh, yeah. Is he one of those guys who just doesn't let you see him sweat? No, he was com completely composed the entire time, poised. Uh, I don't think he was saying much. I mean, there was not much to say because mm -hmm. we were really hustling up the line. And I guess when he incompleted a pass, he went in there and called the play in the huddle. But mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't much he was saying. But you could just tell that he was he was relaxed, calm. Uh, those three, or what was it, two incompletions down there on the goal line, you, you couldn't tell. You would have thought he threw two touchdowns before it walking back into the huddle. So, mm -hmm. that, I mean, there was no. I mean, we had complete confidence. Complete confidence. Is, what is it about him? What, what gets a guy ready for that? You know, I, I don't know. I mean, his, his mental mindset's got to be different than a lot of guys. He, you know, he studies a lot. He comes yeah. in here and he, he's here all the time. So he, he, he knows what he's doing. You know, mm -hmm. he, he knows what he know, he's on the same page with the re other receiver. So he knows what's going on. And he's uh, he's a different guy. He, mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing. And you know, we have complete confidence in him, which I think gives him some confidence. And the coaches have complete confidence in him. So I mean, I think every, everybody knows that he's the guy. So I think you know, with him knowing that, uh, you know, that's it. I don't think anybody would want to play poker with him. No. I don't know if you guys even do that anymore. No, I, I don't. I've never played poker with him, but I, I'm sure he'd, he'd kill everybody that poker face. You know. <laughs> Thanks, man.